okay see here multiplication by zero any number times zero is zero so there is a for example see here there is a no group of course there will be a no product so there will be a zero for example there is a, a zero times one means zero zero times two means zero zero times three means zero zero times four zero zero times five zero six times zero zero so any number that multiply by zero the answer will be zero see here vice versa i'm just saying 2 into 0 0 3 into 0 0 4 into 0 0 5 into 0 0 6 into 0 0 see here that any number that you multiply by zero then you will be have a zero see here zero aquarium with the zero fish there will be a zero as a result for example if you having a uh, uh, no fish tank in your home okay there will be no fish so there will be zero zero okay so there will be a zero items for example you having a one fish tank so there is a no fish, a fish means the answer also zero okay if you having a two fish tank there is a no fish zero then answer will be a zero so anything any number that you multiply by zero the answer will be zero so you have to be very clear why i am keep on repeating saying the point means because when you are very fresh with the addition and coming from the addition and subtraction you will may feel very difficult because in your addition you will read it like 5 plus 0 5 but whereas in a multiplication 5 into 0 the answer will be the zero okay you should be remember about it okay next one multiplication by one is simple so one is simple means one aqua one aquarium with the one fish for example there is a fish tank with the one fish means with the one fish means the answer also will be the one okay so any number that multiply by the one the same number one into two two 1 into 3 3 1 into 4 4 1 into 5 5 1 into 6 6 one into 7 7 one into 8 8 one into 9 9 one into 10 10 so any number that multiply by 1 the same number will be the answer 1 into 2 means 2 1 into 3 means 3 the vice versa 2 into 1 2 3 into 1 3 4 into 1 4 the vice versa also same number so any number that multiply by 0 the answer also will be the 0 any number that multiply by 1 the number the number will be the same if you are uh, multiply 2 with 1 the answer will be 2 if you multiply 1 with the 2 the answer will be the 2 okay that uh, this is the answer so next what they are telling in the concept of grouping so why we are grouping here okay so concept of grouping means that is explaining the need of grouping see here in the before example sir i have just grouped the in the in one group i having a four each uh, each for group there are three groups in a three each groups they are having a four dogs so the concept of grouping is uh, what means see here there is a uh, uh, like a uh, some balls or some beads in a one thread they are uh, how many beads are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so 15 i have taken some min time time if you are having a instead of counting like this
see here how many beads are there here one group two group three group four group five group five into three fifty okay so if you group means then you have then you can make your calculations very easy so i'm just avoiding the confusion i'm making as a group see here here the beads are very continuously so i am not keep on going to add with the minute thing one two three so this is very easy see here how many groups are there one two three four five so five groups are there in a fine each group how many beads are there three beads are there so five into three is 15 okay then so also telling how many threes in a five how many threes in a five so how many threes in a five in five how many threes are there three six which is i'm drawing and all so i have told you the five into three is 15 so there are a five groups in each group having a three bits so total is 15 but how the table is working out we want to be very clear about it, isn't it? So I'm just simply saying 2 into 2, 4, 5 into 3, 15 minutes. Okay, want to memorize? Yes, of course you want to memorize. But behind this process, there is there is a exact process going. It's not like a simply a memorizing. Actual process is going. See, they are explaining with the hands. So just it's a, a roughly I'm just drawing. See here in a five i'm just taking a five finger one two three four five fingers so in a five how many threes are they just i'm saying this is a three then six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so if i have a how many how many threes in my five means three six nine 12 and 5. I'm just adding 3, 3, 3. I'm just adding 3, 3, 3. So, totally I'm having a 15, 3. So, that is what the tables con con no, conveying as. Okay, how many 15s uh, uh, in a 3, sorry, how many uh, uh, 5 threes? The How many 5 threes means the 5 value of 5 threes is a 15. So, they are conveying in a 5, uh, in a 5, how many threes are there means 15 threes are there how many threes are in a, in a five 15 threes in a five okay so just saying three 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 how many five uh, threes five i'm putting five threes so five threes is equal to 15 so instead of repeating this addition, I am just putting a multiplication as is very easiest form. Okay, so this is what telling 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. See the frog is jumping 0 to 3, 3 to 6, 6 to 9, 6, 9 to 12, 12 to 15. So this is what 3 to 6, 6 to 9, 9 to 12, 12 to 15. 15 okay so this is the main concept of grouping while you are grouping it will make your calculation very easy so this is why we are grouping the numbers okay so next concept see here so how many lady bugs legs are there or not how many lady bugs how many uh, lady bug legs so how many ladybugs are there? First to calculate the ladybugs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 ladybugs are there. How many legs in each ladybug? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I have a 6 ladybugs. In each ladybugs I have a 6 leg. So now totally 42 legs. If you add there will be a 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So see here 42. So instead of adding these, it will, it, of course, if I add it, it take out some time. But what we are telling, so how many ladybugs are there? 
seven ladybugs are there and each ladybug how many legs are there six legs are there so totally it's a 42 of course somebody will understand somebody will not understand the grouping concept and uh, how the multiplication working out and in next classes we are going to deal with the same uh, sum like a grouping with the additions okay we'll see it on the next class